I'm telling you, I'm about to put you on to something. Go get you one of these. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I take these curls and turn them into these curls. Let me give y'all a close up. Keep watching. So I went ahead and picked up another puff from the hair store. Those of you that saw my first jawstring ponytail tutorial, that was a jumbo version. This is the same exact thing, just a smaller version of that. The same company, it's the same color, it even has jawstring and two combs like the other one did. Those of you that don't know, this is a synthetic puff. And one thing I do like about this company is the fact that they put wash instructions on the back so you know how to maintain and take care of the hair. Products you're gonna need today, some type of curling cream, gel, or custard. I'm using my Carol's Daughter Curl Shaping Cream Gel today, a spray bottle with water, and I'm gonna be using my Carol's Daughter Curl Perfection Water Cocoa Mist along with my water and a denim brush. So starting off, I'm just trying to get this puff as soaked down as possible. I feel like all curls come out better when the product is put on soaking wet hair. So taking my first section and using my cream gel, really trying to work it into this section of hair. And after that, I'm gonna use my denim brush to brush out these curls. Now, the wash instructions say don't brush the hair, but I'm not listening to that because when I tell you I tried and there's literally no other way to get these curls this defined if you don't brush the hair out. I tried and girl, I was stressed. So save yourself the headache, save yourself the time and brush that hair. Once I have all my curls brushed through, I'm just going back in and any pieces of hair that looks frizzy or looks like it could be more defined to me, I'm just going in and finger coiling it. And look at that bounce, okay? So you're gonna continue this throughout the entire head or throughout the, the entire puff until you're done. So I'm gonna speed this up and let y'all observe and watch. And as always, if y'all have any questions, let me know down in the comment section.
how the hair looks after it's all dry i let it dry overnight so that you guys can get the full effect of what the curls look like absolutely beautiful once it's all dry i like to go in with my shine spray or hair polisher i have two i use this one or it's another one that's in a green bottle. I cannot think of the name right now. And of course, out of all times, I can't find it right now. I will leave the information in, this, in the description down below. I'm just gonna take this and spray for a little extra glossy, shiny type of curl. It's not the exact one that I wore in the last tutorial. It's her little sister. It's the exact same brand, exact same curl. The only thing is it's smaller. The one that I got before was Jumbo Effie. This one is just Effie. So it's a little smaller. They both have the two clips. So this one has the clip at the bot. At, oh, 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 oh. This one has the clip at the back and the front. And just like the other one did. And it has the drawstring, so. This clip goes to the back. It just slides in the back. And this one slides in the front. Like that. And then you take the jawstring right here. Press on the clip. Oh my goodness, I hope you guys can see. I hope this is a good angle. <laughs> take the clip. And just pull until it's tight enough like you want it Ooh, this is actually really cute i think i like the smaller one better this little string in the back you can just kind of tuck it wrap it around to hide it this is so cute literally go get one go get one it's so convenient and it looks so natural my edges are a little crusty, but these curls. I'm not being sponsored. I literally saw this in a hair store and was like, hmm, I could do something with that. And I'm glad I did because being able to just get up and go, styles like that are my best friend. After this, I'm gonna need the company to hit me up. Send me a bunch. Once you go in and define the curls, that's the most tedious part. Now the bigger one, oh, it took me a minute. I was taking breaks and everything because it is a little bigger but this one took me about 30 35 minutes to go through and like really coil and get the curls really nice it's worth it after you go through and detangle and like define the curls and stuff you're only probably going to have to do that that one time if anything it, it does get frizzy so you might have to go back in and like put product or like spray some water or if you have like some mousse rub some mousse in it but this is this is it i know this video was very very long overdue so i definitely hope i answered most or some of your questions if not of course leave them down for me in the comment section don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you are not already and i will see you in the next video